It has now been a year since at least 2,000 houses were destroyed and thousands of families displaced after a volcanic eruption in Nirangongo, Goma, Eastern Democratic Republic of Congo, DRC. Today, many families continue to live in deplorable conditions in the makeshift shelters in the area. We had fled the volcano. All our houses were destroyed and we came here. We have just spent a year here suffering and we don't have anything to do. The authorities do not want to help us. We are suffering here. If they can help us with houses, this would be good. In these shelters, when it rains, we feel very bad. May the authorities come to our aid and particularly give us plots of land to build on. At least 500 families are still living in this site, one of the reception sites for the displaced from the Nirangongo volcano. The conditions are precarious. One year later, they have still not been rehoused, and the NGOs that were providing food and basic necessities have ceased their activities. We live a life of misery. We have no water, no assistance. The government only looks at us, but no assistance. We live here, but the children sometimes get sick. We have already recorded cases of smallpox, kwashioko, because people do not find what to eat. The government is sufficiently responsible. This issue will be addressed urgently and appropriate responses will be made in terms of humanitarian and health management. On May 22, 2021, Mount Nirangongo spouted lava from cracks along its sides. More than 400,000 people were forced to flee their homes at least 32 people died and thousands of children were separated from their parents.